good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is David and right now I'm drinking my cough today's like super doocy doo outside it's raining like a bastard very crappy normally if I was still in my old life uh, I probably would have been depressed because my Saturday was ruined by rain but since my life has rejuvenated uh, and it's a lot tighter now and a lot more fresher my life is awesome right now so I, it doesn't even affect me. right now I'm drinking my coffee project for the next two days going to go drop this stuff off drop it off at the UPS uh, box so now we're gonna go drop these packages off bye 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 to go and start working all right good morning welcome back to my channel so now we're gonna paint these doors so we can start the process of moving from here this way so these two doors will be today's main focus so once these are painted this area here, we'll just need the door handles, and then I can start changing the hinges uh, to make them a little more better. I have very new hinges, so those are gonna go on there also. But this whole process will just be to finish off this area here with doorknobs, paint, hinges, everything. So this way, I don't have to worry about this part anymore. Let's get started, doll store. that I have the first coat and then I moved over to this one to add the first coat now this one is dry so now I'm gonna stop painting this guy here this first coat will be done then we can stop painting the second coat on this door All right, so now we got the two coats of paint complete on this uh, on these doors. Now they look beautiful, as you can tell when you look at it from here. The difference it makes is just mind blowing. Like what a little bit of paint can do. See, uh, I hit the brush on some of the gray, so that happens all the time. I'm a wicked messy uh, painter. But I always know how to clean up after. The hinges are gonna get taken off because I got black hinges, of course. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install the handle here, right? this industrial style handle. And then what I was thinking about doing is that since I haven't found another silver plate for uh, the inside for the bottom of the door, this one here, I'm gonna just put this one down here anyways. And then when I find another one, I'll put it on the inside of the door to cover that hole. I'd rather put this down there now to prevent the scratching. So I wanna install this plate down here. So it prevents the door from scratching when it opens and closes. So after I install this, I can install the guide because the guide is going to be rubbing up against this. And honestly, I'd much rather have this there instead of having the door with a bunch of scratches in the bottom. So the tools that I'm gonna use for this are going to be Phillips head this so I can I know where to mark it. I'm going to use the level to make sure that it's actually level so it doesn't look wonky and all. So once I level it, I'm gonna poke two of these in so I can start the screws, go back, level, and then start putting the rest of the screws in. God dang screw. So as you can see, yes, it, it looks a little strange, but it's gonna serve a purpose where it's gonna keep the marks from being dragged back and forth from the, the guard. So now I'm going to install the handle. In industrial style, I really like the way it looks. It's gonna look nice right here. Cover that hole, drill down. Boom, I say, Bobby. I'm going to put it right here. Measure level. That's why it's 
So there's the finished product on uh, my closet door. The way it dresses up, it's neatly pushed up against the back, exactly where it needs to be, and it looks amazing. I don't know what it is. I seem to keep finding myself on my knees. I don't know why. So this is actually gonna go here, and it helps reinforce this area. I'm going to buy another one, which is gonna go right here. But the problem with this is, if I put this in here, I can't close this now because I just realized there's not much of a gap here. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the door. We're gonna put it back on the frame of the door. I changed the hinges, took about a quarter of an inch off the end of the door so I could put the housing over the handle, deadbolt, all that extra protection. So what I'm gonna do is I have this device here that is meant for when you install doors, you put it in to wedge it a little bit before you start screwing it in. To, so what it is is you just pump it, this fills up with air, it's like an airbag, and it, it'll lift the door or it'll move the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this underneath the door so it actually moves the door up a little bit for me. Because if you look here, right now as it stands, that's how much more I have to lift the door. So instead of me fighting with it, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this little airbag underneath, pump it a little bit, and start throwing the screws. Let's do this shit. I'm gonna use these uh, two and a half inch long sheet rock screws. That's what I like to use when I install hinges into a mainframe. That, that's just my preference. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know how people feel about it, but it makes me feel more secure. So what I'm gonna do is with my foot. If you guys know how much fighting I used to do with doors, you wouldn't believe it, just to get the hinges to line up. So what I did was I bought two of those with promo codes because they were so cheap. I think I paid like $4 for, for each one and it was just like, that's a no brainer. So I wanna thank you to everybody for watching my videos. This is gonna conclude this episode. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much, be kind.